Excellent. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. And today we are continuing off the theme of diseases A to Z. And we will be working with common diseases. And today's topic I have picked is acetonic keratosis. I would see this diagnosis often in my practice. And what it is, is it's small red pustules around the skin, usually around the uh, mouth area. Can be other, wares, other places on the body, but I predominantly, personally would see it on the face. Patients that would come in for creams or antibiotics. And I want you guys to understand that what it is, is actually a warning system to your body that something is going on and you wanna pay attention to it. So if you're out there looking at this content and you are suffering from that, I want you to know that there are non-pharmaceutical options available for you and you do not need to apply pharmaceuticals topically or even take them internally. At the same time, short-term use of topical pharmaceuticals would be helpful and you could use short-term hydrocortisone or Benadryl cream and the reason is is they would definitely suppress the immune response that's happening and they would you know help assist with the healing for a short period of time but simultaneously you're going to want to be addressing the underlying issues and I'm going to go over those but before I do that I, I, I get a kick out of sharing the pharmaceutical options too those are fun to understand so Benadryl and hydrocortisone both of those work in different ways they, they have two different mechanisms and a lot of things what you will see pharmaceutically available over the counter is a combo of that doctors will write for scripts that will um, have both an antihistamine component which is the Benadryl diphenhydramine and potentially a steroid component which in this case in the example that I just cited would be example hydrocortisone the reason I mentioned both of the ones I did is because you can get both of those over the counter so you can go into any pharmacy and get hydrocortisone you could also get Benadryl aka diphenhydramine over the counter apply it topically and the keratosis would clear up Yet, if you stopped using it and you hadn't addressed any underlying issues, the keratosis would return. So what the keratosis is saying to you is something's going on with your digestion, and you are gonna wanna work on that. You're gonna wanna look at what's going on in your digestion. And one of the easiest things we can do to clear up any digestive issues is to go on a fast or a cleanse. I have done in the past uh, a seven day water fast. It was a huge lifestyle changer for me mostly in the sense that um, I definitely did a lot of healing during that time for my body and I've also historically have done uh, master cleanse most of you probably um, you know are aware that cleanses and fasts would be good for your body to help you detoxify and if you're not I want you to know that again that's a great way to assist your body in healing and so the master cleanse is you know they you usually utilize uh, grade B maple syrup with lemon juice and um, you juice the lemons you add cayenne and what it's giving you is a little bit of glucose and then mostly just the you're just getting a little bit of glucose enough to keep going nevertheless it's not my most favorite one uh, there's a lot of options out there and you are welcome to email me directly or message me and ask me what you know maybe based on what you're going through what would be good for you but a three-day cleanse where you're only maybe juicing organic juices yourself at home you will be surprised at how quickly your acetonic keratosis will clear up so keep that in you know that's a big thing right there boom right off the bat and you're going to see it decrease if you're not sure if certain foods you're eating if you're allergic to one of the quickest tests you can find out to is eat a, eat a lot of it so if you if you think to yourself well it doesn't really matter that i'm eating you know this food eat a lot of it and you'll find out and again what's great about you know the keratosis is it'll reveal itself pretty quickly digestively what's going on so again way to kick it off right off the bat would be number one to do a cleanse or a fast and then number two you would want to start looking at uh, you know like I said you could use topical agents hydrocortisone uh, diphenhydramine short-term use something you could use long term is zinc oxide I love zinc oxide you will find it in A and D ointment and also in desitin it's funny A and D ointment FYI doesn't have any vitamin A in it and it doesn't have any vitamin D in it. It only has zinc oxide, which is interesting. I, I, I'm curious, I need to probably research the history on that. And then the desitin is the zinc oxide, and zinc oxide is an amazing 
zinc con component in the zinc oxide is an amazing skin healer. So you could apply that topically to any lesions that you have, and that would help heal, expedite the healing of these lesions. The third thing I would recommend that you do is definitely start looking at nutriating. And I just want to go briefly into you know the biochemistry of what's happening on your skin and you know how that ties in with your overall biochemistry. And what we want to look at is definitely, like I said, the digestive health issues, you know, doing cleanses and fasts and the topical agents. And we also, one of the big things, one of the most funnest things you can do for your skin is an oil that's called gamma linoleic acid. I love it. It's also known as GLA. It's an omega-6. And this uh, fat really boosts up your skin. It, 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 as soon as you take it, you get a nice high level GLA oil. You're going to notice a difference even if you don't have acetonic keratosis. But what I do want you to know is that if you do have it, it's a symbol that it's a sign that you're really low on your omega 6s and you need to increase those. And you can um, do that by again taking barrage oil. That's where you usually find high levels of GLA. That would help you a lot. In addition to taking those GLAs, you're going to want to be taking digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes are going to help you process. Like I said, that you have a digestive issue, so it's going to take the burden off your digestive tract and help you start digesting your foods. So I, I encourage you to be doing that also. So again, the GLAs, the digestive enzymes, clean up any junk that's going to be in your gut. That's what digestive enzymes. When I'm working with patients, I'll usually advise them to take the digestive enzymes on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, and also on an empty stomach in the evening. You also want to take digestive enzymes with every meal. And that's going to, again, boost up your body's ability to digest its food. So do that if you're suffering from this condition, this acetonic keratosis. You want to work on that. You also want to take, of course, probiotics. And those are going to help beef up the entire digestive tract, giving you a strong digestion, giving you a strong digestive tract. And another great vitamin that's a part of the skin health that we're talking about is niacin vitamin it's a b3 vitamin or known as b3 excuse me it's a vitamin b it's known as one of the b vitamins and niacin is also a very big player in the skin health and you're going to want to work on that i never advise cherry picking nutrients we need all of our nutrients yet this gives you a brief overview of what is available biochemically to help you boost up your skin so always look at your skin as the one of the biggest flags of what's going on in your body. So rashes, eczema, psoriasis, which we're definitely going to be covering as you know the diseases that we're going to be doing A to Z here. That's a sign. Your body's sending up a red flag. Hey, something's going on. I need help. And it's a nutrient issue. It's, it's saying you're eating something most likely that your body doesn't like, and you're also short on nutrients. And some of you might wonder, well, how does that all tie in together? You know, why would my, you know, I'm eating something I don't like and, and then I don't have the nutrification that I need. And what I want you to understand is that happens when we eat things we're allergic to, it wears down our body. And we use a lot of the storehouses of energy, we use a lot of the nutrients we have as backup and we're also utilizing them on a moment by moment basis just in living life. And when we eat things we're allergic to, we really rev up our system, we put a lot of stress on our system so those nutrients get utilized quicker and we need to replenish them. So it's very important when you're looking at uh, skin health, if you want to resolve actinic keratosis, these would be some of the steps you could take. I do encourage you to reach out to me on a variety of social platforms that I have, you know, definitely Facebook Live being one of them. You can always email me at melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, -S -S at nutritionalpharmacist.com. And we will be doing, again, the diseases A to Z. And if you have any random, especially if you have a new random disease, I recently heard of a disease that uh, kind of made me laugh my head off. I, I, I apologize, I didn't remember, uh, memorize it, I didn't want to, but my friend was like, have you ever heard of, and it literally had uh, five words to it. And after he described it to me, I said, oh, I think that's uh, hypothyroidism. So they're always coming up with newer, fancier labels for what might be going on with you. But I want you to understand that the underlying design behind it is very, very simple. Health isn't easy, but it is simple. And I know you can do it. You, you know, with what you, I'm sharing with you, what other people are out there sharing, you can learn these things and you can change your life physically and, you know, regain your health. That is totally possible. 
So please reach out to me. It's uh, a pleasure to be here with you. I know there's some people here on the chat. I don't know if we have any questions, but I'm just going to leave it open just for a few minutes here and see if we do have any questions. But you're always welcome, again, like I said, to reach out and share any um, questions or make comments even on this video, and we will be able to address them. It would be an honor to be doing that for you. So, all right, I'm not seeing any questions, but nevertheless, thank you for joining me, and I will be seeing you next week. We do do these calls three times a week live. We do them twice on Tuesdays, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific time. We also do them once on Thursdays, 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to continue, and we look forward to working with you and assisting you on your healing journey. God bless. Bye-bye.